Think about that. My first six ATMs didn't do well. That was my first roadblock. I felt sick. I was just like, oh my God, I just spent this money. What am I going to do? If I would have given up right there, like, oh, forget it, it's too hard. None of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. So you have to really think about it yourself. Are you going to quit just because one thing doesn't work out? Hey guys, this is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com, and welcome to this weekly live. We're going to go ahead and get started with three rookie mistakes to stay away from guys in 2024 as ours. Okay, so we're going to jump into the three rookie mistakes that people could do in 2024, being green, being rookie, being a beginner, okay? And these are mistakes that I've actually done myself. So I'm speaking from experience. It's not hearsay. So let's go ahead and get started. These three it starts with asking for no help. Guys, if <clears throat> I didn't get my mentor, I wouldn't be here right now. I, would, I, I wouldn't have been able to create an ATM together. I wouldn't have been able to help and also cause a ripple effect, which I've helped thousands and thousands of clients nationwide. Um, I wouldn't be able to employ dozens and dozens of employees and help their families. I wouldn't be able to change the lives that I've changed already. I wouldn't have all of this, none of this, if it wasn't for my mentor. So the way I think about investments, the way I think about mentorship, the way I think about programs is, wow, this is going to cost me X and X much, right? It's going to cost me $10,000. I don't think about it like that anymore. I used to. I think about it like, well, if I don't invest this $10,000, it might cost me $400,000 later on because what you don't know is what you don't know. So if somebody's willing to give you access to what made them successful, why couldn't you use the exact same information that made them successful, the blueprint, and then use that to make yourself successful? Think about that. That's a good takeaway, okay? So asking for no help is the number one mistake in entrepreneurship in the ATM industry. Most, most old school, keyword old school, ATM deployers will say, hey, you can do it on your own. Guys, here's the thing. Success loves speed. We're not here for a long time. We want to get it up and running so you could break your limiting beliefs and you could go ahead and install ATM number two, number three, number four, number five. You could then go ahead and see how it's done and also go ahead and invest. Make your money work for you faster, okay? Guys, every time I make some money, all right. No matter what it is, whether it's my real estate investments, whether it is uh, one of my companies that I run, whether it's my machines, whether it's uh, any investment that I've made. As soon as I get profit from that, guess what? Am I going out there and spending it on clothes? Am I going out there and spending it on cars? Am I going out there and spending it on liabilities? No, guys. The way that people that stay rich and have money, okay? They, they take their profits and they reinvest it into their businesses or they keep reinvesting it into other investments, guys. And they make money back to back to back to back. And guess what? One of those investments will really pay off. And that's like a bingo. That's, that's the cherry on top, right? It's the exact same thing in this industry. It's the exact same thing in the ATM industry. If you ask for no help, how are you going to build your network, right? You ever heard the term or, or the saying, your network is your net worth? It's true, guys. It's true. Take, take it from me. 30, about to be 36. I have made over a million dollars off of meeting business associates at conventions, off of jumping on podcasts, off of going and speaking on stage. Guys. I could do it. You guys can do it too. Do not limit yourself, guys. You have the exact same, uh, the exact same opportunity that I have. The same opportunity that everyone else that's successful has. Okay. Don't limit your beliefs. You can do this. Okay. Number two, guys. Choosing the wrong team. Your network is your net worth, guys. I'm going to jump back into this. Okay. It's very true. You have to have a strong foundation and you need to have a strong tribe. If you don't, the foundation, just take a house, for example. If the foundation is not strong in a house, 
when you start building, guess what? Eventually your foundation is going to break. And your foundation is going to break. What does that do? That stops the progress. That stops you from finishing the house. So you have to get it right from the beginning, guys. And this goes with everything. So whether that's choosing the right mentor, whether that's choosing the right company, that, whether that's just being around the right people. Guys, I've had to let go of previous uh, lifelong friends that I used to have that were comfortable being where they were at, guys, talking negativity about my vision, talking negativity about what I wanted to do in life. I had to let them go. I had to. I didn't want to because they're good people. But at the end of the day, I got to love them from afar. That's just what you got to do. You got to sacrifice sometimes, guys. So when it comes down to it, it's the exact same thing when you guys are starting a business. Any business that you guys start, go back to the basics, the ATM basics I was just talking about. There are actual basics that you guys can implement with any industry, any niche out there. Okay? Plan it. Due diligence. Execute. And then level up. Train and learn skills. Okay, guys? All right. And let's go to number three. Now, guys. <clears throat> remember the beginning of my journey with ATMs, okay? I'll give you a key takeaway here. If I would have gave up back when my first six ATMs didn't do well, then I'm going to tell you this. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to create an ATM together. I wouldn't be able to employ dozens of employees. I wouldn't be able to go ahead and actually help thousands of people. I wouldn't be able to go ahead and retire my parents. I wouldn't be able to go ahead and leave my nine to five. I wouldn't be able to go ahead and do this really cool stuff that I really like to do now. Um, I wouldn't be fulfilled. I mean, think about that. Think about that. My first six ATMs didn't do well. That was my first roadblock. I felt sick. I was just like, oh my God, I just spent this money. What am I going to do? If I would have given up right there, like, forget it, it's too hard. None of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. So you have to really think about it yourself. Are you going to quit just because one thing doesn't work out? Guys, entrepreneurship, ongoing problems. Trust me, there's always fires to be. The, the bigger you get, the more problems there is, guys. Okay, so the, the way you got to think about it is you got to be able to handle pressure. You have to be able to handle pressure. If you can't handle pressure, entrepreneurship may not be for you. Okay, but what I can tell you like this, what creates diamonds? Pressure. So the more pressure you're able to actually take, the better chances you have of succeeding. So one key takeaway take I can give you from actual full-time entrepreneur that has built eight-figure business, a multiple seven-figure business, and a multiple six-figure business, all within the past six years, is that you have not failed unless you quit on yourself, okay? So do not quit on yourself. Those are the three rookie mistakes I have learned from my own experience, guys. I hope you like that lesson, okay? So go ahead and comment learn. Go ahead and comment learn. That's going to be L-E-A. Or in, go ahead and comment learn, guys, if you guys like that lesson, and then we'll go ahead and actually uh, provide you with some additional free PDFs that I've actually made in sales in the past year, guys. We're going to give it all away for you before the end of the year. Now, I'm going to keep this short, all right? This is going to be a short one, guys. Now, how can you create your own ATM together? Essentially, let's say if you were already successful with building your own ATM businesses, you have quite a few, you have the social proof, you're making residual income. Now, how do you go about building your actual business online to go ahead and sell ATMs or to go ahead and help folks learn the ATM industry? Well, guys, I'm going to tell you like this. Your network is your net worth. Okay. What if I was to tell you I can actually help you with that? If I can actually help you learn everything that I know within the past six years, specifically.